Hey, it's Fred Sweet, and thanks for tuning in to Guitar Media's 18 Watt Plexi video series. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 1969 Gibson SG Custom and this 1968 Model 1973. Please stay tuned at the end of the video, we'll be going over speakers. Hi, welcome to the speaker section of this video. While newer speakers or replacement speakers or recone speakers can become very reliable or be very reliable, vintage speakers are not. They have a tendency to break down. What can happen is when the glue gets old, the dust cap can become delaminated, giving us an awful buzzing sound. A lot of times the spider inside here will come delaminated from the frame, will also cause a nasty buzzing sound. Sometimes it will become delaminated from the cone or the coil, and other times it can just be out of alignment causing coil rub, which also doesn't sound good at all. Of course, it can, it can also become delaminated around, somewhere around the surround. And sometimes we see damaged speakers ha just have slight rips here in the paper or, uh, or, or just really major rips and a lot of people think they need to be reconed and maybe that's not the case. Maybe you want to salvage your speaker, do a little repair. What I recommend is get you some wood glue and a spoon and put you about half a teaspoon of wood glue in your spoon. Put a couple of drops of water, get you a cotton swab and swirl it around and then just lightly apply that to any ripped area. On the front of the speaker, you can apply the glue lightly to the front and the back, or the front or the back, or both. And in a situation where you have a cone that has an extreme rip, what you can do is a similar process, except for you can add you a coffee filter to the front or the back of the speaker. It's obviously going to look a lot better on the back, and that is a way that you can repair it and of course if for extra strength you can add your coffee filter to the front and the back and less glue is better I've never had one come loose um, now as far as the, the actual glue failing and the cone like say for example the cone coming loose what you can do is get some professional speaker glue they call it rubber resin cement this is RS3087 I got it at soundspeakerrepair.com and this is supposed to be the professional stuff like the same stuff JBL uses and so you can you can use this to they actually designed this for surrounds but it works great for your dust cap or regluing your spider which you can also use super glue and I've never had a problem although it's not the professional approach um another thing that that happens with speakers is is they become out of alignment and this this causes speaker rub a way you can fix this is you can get you some acetone and then take a cotton swab and then lightly apply it to your dust cap around the glue around the edge of the dust cap until it, it starts to come loose get you a razor knife you can scrape you can actually um, pick the dust cap off of the speaker maybe get some needle nose and pry it off of there once you get the dust cap off you can um, your speaker surround you can do the same thing 
apply some acetone to the speaker surround where the glue where the surround actually meets the frame and get you a razor knife and you know get your surround loose any way that you can once you get the dust cap off and the surround completely loose all the way around the frame then you will see in the center of the speaker a coil that's your former and what you do what you want to do is slide you a business card right there on one side and one on the other side and that will realign your speaker cone once your speaker cone is realigned you can then glue your spider back down with the professional cement once the spider is glued back down you can wait a day or two till the glue is totally dry and then you can remove your business cards out of the center of the speaker and then you can it's safe at that at that point to glue your dust cap back on of course with the professional rubber cement all right thanks for watching and check our channel for our latest videos.